exactly where the argument is being made from. The fact that we focus on the legacies of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and not necessarily the mortal remains of, of the first president of Ghana. Well, the man did quite a lot. And if he did quite a lot, don't you think he deserves a befitting burial? So he what would you what, what would you prefer? What what which of these would, would you prefer? The legacy of Dr. Nkrumah celebrated or remarking his burial or, or whatever the case may be? Which which one is more paramount to the convention people's party? I would I would I would prefer us celebrating somebody who was prepared to take Ghana to the next level, but the right things have to be done. If it so happened that most of the things he did, we've been able to progress it, we've been able to advance it, we've been able to create a Ghana that everybody is satisfied with. Would we be crying? We won't. Look at our housing system today. Look at the number of houses in Kumaputa. Look at the employment system today. Yes, populations are different, but if we had the chance to graduate as our population grew, would it not have been better for us today? Even look at our industries today. Isn't it led by foreigners? Look at our banks. How many foreign banks do we have in this country compared to domestic banks? So how so how so, so how will the burial of Dr. Nkrumah change that? Well, we haven't done the right thing. In with, with us, we we believe that. Because we haven't done the right thing, let's do the right thing and move from there. We, we, we feel Nkrumah has cursed this country. We feel it. Because all governments that have come, and I can only talk about the Fourth Republic, because the others were, 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 were coup d'etat. We believe that that scepter of Nkrumah hanging over us has to be broken. And we believe we need to give him a good send off and a good goodbye.